or less. Uh, let's look ahead. Uh, Taproot, the upgrade is yes. finally here. I can't believe we've been talking about it all year long and it's happening. <laughs> I know, right? The green dots. Christy and the green dots. <laughs> it's like what's, laser green dots. What's, what's going on? Oh, tell us, walk us through what, what to expect. So Taproot, okay, first off, what is Taproot? It's been a little while since we've talked about it. So, hey, refresh your time. Taproot is the most significant Bitcoin upgrade uh, to its code in about four years uh, since segregated witness about four years ago. Over three years in the making, it replaces Bitcoin's current signature protocol with Schnorr signatures. What that means is that there are now these new, smaller and faster signatures, which will allow developers to make major improvements in how Bitcoin performs. Specifically, they will boost Bitcoin's transaction privacy and allow for more lightweight and complex smart contracts. Yes, smart contracts on Bitcoin that are not going to be all clunky is the is the goal. So it will open up new possibilities for privacy, multi-signature wallets and security and scaling. Now. Don't get too like hyped up on Sunday. It's going to be largely an under the hood improvement. Nobody's going to be like, ah, everything's changed. No, this all has to be eventually um, integrated into wallets, built upon. Things have to happen in order for us to really take advantage. But it's basically handing developers a wonderful toolkit that is going to improve things like privacy and security and scalability. And that was kicked in motion back in June, I believe it was. And we are now at the end of the waiting pro, uh, the waiting period. Um, what, the, what needed to happen was a waiting period in order for all of the nodes to upgrade their software to Bitcoin Core 0 0.21 point. Well, actually, I think it just goes by 21.1, which is the newest version of Bitcoin Core that contains the activation logic for the Taproot software and a bunch of other improvements. And it's all mm -hmm. locked in to kick in at a very specific block height. Bitcoin doesn't measure time, it measures block heights. Um, so when we hit block 709632, Sometime in the wee hours of Sunday, uh, Eastern Standard Time, Bitcoin will kick in or Taproot, Taproot will kick in. And then it's up to the developers to make it all exciting for us. And, and I'm sure there are folks out there who will be up in the wee hours of the morning watching for that to I can happen. I guarantee uh, you there will be Twitter yeah. parties. 100%. <laughs> Brad, is this affecting the price at all? A lot of folks have been saying it's already baked in, but uh, a lot of experts and uh, you know analysts are really excited about Taproot and the possibilities it has for the network. Uh, it's a great question, Christine. Um, one of our reporters, Lila Ledesma, uh, dug into this question a, a, a couple of weeks ago and you know, it, it's an opportunity to kind of really think about the the Bitcoin, how the Bitcoin blockchain operates and, and how it's different from all the other blockchains and communities. And, you know, this is the first one in four years. I mean, a big one. Uh, and, you know, it's kind of like the having, you know, the, the four every four years havings and the, the havings come and they go. And, you know, I've watched I've I've lived through one of them intensively and you know there's not that much of a price reaction when it happens but people say it happens you know that's like the for some people that's the defining you know reason why bitcoin is you know an inflation hedge and why it keeps going up is because the, the supply keeps cutting getting cut in half every year i think you know the tap route could be similar where you know you know as we as lila pointed out in her story the last upgrade in 2017 which christy covered uh, of course um you know that that led to the lightning network which is now uh a really big deal and growing fast and it's you know it's kind of part of el salvador's plan you know and and how they're using um uh bitcoin as legal tender there so you know i think that's kind of the Bitcoiners are okay with the slow as you go approach. And, um, you know, I think to, 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 to try to 99% up, up 
uh, uptime on Bitcoin. Like Bitcoin has been maintained slowly and carefully over the last 13 years and it just ticks along. We're not hearing about, we don't hear about crashes in the protocol. We yeah. don't hear about breakages. Our devs are awesome and they keep everything moving <laughs> along. And that's, I mean, if you're going to support $3 trillion asset class, you better make sure it's solid. And that's, well, I think, what uh -huh. makes people excited about. Just to circle back, you know, and I think what Christy's saying, I think that is kind of priced in. Um, people think this is going to go mm -hmm. smoothly. You know, it probably will go smoothly. Uh, if it doesn't go smoothly, then you might have a problem. If it goes smoothly, you're probably not going to get too much of a price reaction. It's only if something breaks that, you know, we'll, we'll see. It, 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 in other words, it's the upside is priced in. The downside, maybe not, but the downside seems pretty unlikely. All right. Well, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin is the honey badger. It just keeps going and I'm sure it will see through this upgrade slowly but surely.